going guys welcome back to Jay's Pokey Stop. In today's video we got something a little bit different so I'm not going to be your typical pack opening video. I'm actually going to do kind of a product review and then we're also going to build my celebrations binder to see if I have 100% uh, completion on that set yet. So here's the product we're dealing with. I'm also going to uh, show off these here. Um, yeah without further ado let's crack these open and let's look at this product. All right guys let's start with uh, the Voltax semi-rigid card holder. So you guys aren't aware what Voltex is, so it's a brand that makes uh, in a lot of TCG uh, products. So it makes semi-rigid card holders and binders, um, makes deck boxes, stuff like that. Stuff you can use for to store, both store your cards and uh, actually play TCG games. So it's a really cool site, really cool brand. Um, and they actually sell stuff on Amazon for us here in the U.S. And then they have their own website that you can buy stuff on if you shop over in the U.K. So I'll leave the information down below on how you can save 10% off your next order for your Vault-X uh, uh, supplies or products. So, um, yeah, so make sure you check the description below and, and yeah, check out their products. So, let's, so here we got the Vault-X Semi-Rigid. So, look at that. We got 200 in this case, and I believe I paid 25 bucks for this. It's pretty cheap for what you get. So, each case here has 50 uh, packs in it. I know a lot of people are probably waiting on PSA to kind of open up for card submissions without paying, having to pay $100 per submission. So uh, you got to get your semi ridges, get your cards ready. And as soon as they open that up, let's send some cards to them. Um, yeah, so in order to do that, a good way to store your cards are actually in these semi rigid. So here's a Vault X semi rigid. It's pretty, pretty sturdy material here. Let's go ahead and throw a card in here. I opened up some brilliant stars not too long ago. So let's uh, throw this Sharon's Care in here. So it's already pre sleeved with the soft sleeve. You can also get at Vault X. That slides in really easy. And look at that. Clean, cards protected. Not bad at all. I actually brought. I actually have some older ones here that I used before, which are the Card Saver ones, which probably a lot of people are familiar with. Um, from uh, I think Cardboard Gold, I believe is the brand name. But uh, yeah, comparing the two products here, let me get this out of here. You can see on this Cardboard Gold sleeve here at the top, it looks kind of rigid, and there's kind of some rough m marks here along the side, and some of the uh, sleeves actually came in slightly curved a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell that or not, but I think that over time kind of puts a curve on your card, which isn't necessarily a terrible thing, but it's if you pull a $400, $500 card, you know, the last thing you want is that thing to be curved. So these Vault X sleeves actually come in, they're straight as an arrow, which is pretty cool. But, and I don't see any of that rough. You guys can see that or not. I don't see any of that roughness there along the top top sides of the sleeve there. Let's go ahead and sleeve up another one here. See, I got an alternate art laying here somewhere. Yeah, we got the Neuvern V here. I've been wanting to put this one in it in a semi rigid anyway, but but look how easy this slides in there, guys. Like there, it's in there. It's in there and it is secure. Look at that. Vault X, man. That's an awesome product, guys. 25 bucks too for a case of 200. You can store 200 of your cards or prepare 200 of your cards for us. Either PSA submission, Beckett submission, uh, CGC, any of the grading companies. But yeah, don't don't sleep on Vault X, guys. These are these are awesome products for a complete reasonable price. And these cardboard savers, I think I paid fifty dollars for a two hundred dollar box, or a two hundred uh, piece box. So I mean, you save half fifty percent right there. And if you use my code, and I'll list that down below, you could save an additional ten percent on your twenty five bucks. So yeah, it'd be an awesome uh, deal. All right, guys. So those are the semi rigid sleeves. Super glad, super pumped to have these in the. Uh, in my collection here so I can actually start sleeving up some stuff. I 
Got another booster box of Brilliant Stars I need to crack open, so we'll definitely be needing some more of these semi-rigids. So, all right, so let's dive into the Vault X binder here. All right, so as you can see, I got the 12 pocket binder. I like the 12 pocket mainly because if you look at, pull this here. So we're gonna do celebrations today. And if you look at the pages in here, you got 12 cards. So I like, uh, I wanna kinda of mimic this. So I'll, as I make my set, I'll check off these boxes kind of mimic this and like like it shows here 12 pages so you get these nice row like that's going to be an awesome row you got the mew the, the charizard and the blastoise and venusaur in that row there and yeah so it's not a huge set but i just kind of want to showcase the showcase my collection so far for celebrations as well as show off this product so also so looking at this you got 20 archival uh Safe, uh, safe 12 pocket pages fit standard size gaming card so your Yu-Gi-Oh, your magic your uh, pokemon anything like that it's got secure side loading pockets so it loads from the sides which i like a lot if you load it from the top sometimes if you're carrying your your product uh, sideways here your cards might fall out so and then uh high clarity pockets and it's also very important here acid free and no pvc so some of the kind of cheaper brands you can get pockets that actually have uh, some sort of acid in them and, and actually deteriorate your cards over time if they're not properly sleeved or anything like that so you don't have to worry about the, any of that with vault x which is awesome let's go ahead and cut this open here at that i comes with this strap too that's keeping her closed if you guys could see it but i love this color on here i've seen this color they had green they had purple they had uh, just your typical blacks and then uh i think there was a gray maybe but there was a bunch of different colors and yeah i, I thought this blue looked really cool something new and let's crack her open here papers out of the way and look at these pages guys you got the soft pages which I think is extremely important as well it's easy to bend easy to move and you got that soft background on your card so it keeps them from getting damaged on the back side but 12 pages and you also notice there's no ring along this uh, spine here of the, the binder so that's really important I'll show you an example of that right here on one of my old super old binders from my literally my childhood collection it's in pretty rough shape you can see there but it's got that big ring in it and you can see already some of these bottom pages here are probably going to have some binder rings marks on the cards actually just from sitting in there like that so you don't have to worry about that yeah i think this is extremely durable the material is super Flexible yet durable. I mean, it's a hard case. You got the strap here to strap it, close it, and yeah, I think that's a sick product. Let's go ahead and try to move some stuff around here. I already got my cards, as you can see back here, kind of sorted. I got the classic collection, I got some promos, and then I got the, the normal collection from Celebration. So we'll go ahead and I'll kind of start putting those together for you. Um, yeah, and let's see what cards we're missing. I know we're still missing several cards. And if you're a member of this channel and been watching me for a while, you know we're still chasing that Charizard. So let's go ahead and throw this together. Guys, so I got the book opened up here kind of to show where we're at. Then I'm going to go through my cards here. I already kind of organized them in the order of the book. I know I got a lot of duplicates of some of them. But uh, yeah, let's. I'm going to go ahead and just start filling in the blanks here and uh, see what we're dealing with. So we're starting it off with Ho-Ho. Another important thing to do is not overfill your sleeves or overfill your pockets here in your binder. You don't want to loosen them up any. I think my max is probably two cards per sleeve because you 
kind of want this uh, on most sets. You want the reverse hollow and the and the regular rare or or regular card uh, in the same pocket. But in this case, I'm just going to put one of each in there. Just to make it a little faster for you guys. But you can see they're kind of tight to get in there, which is a good thing in my opinion. I think they're nice in there. They're sealed. I mean, they're they're in there, guys, so they're not going anywhere. All right, now we got Kyogre. Palkia. All right, guys, I'm going to speed this up. I'm going to go ahead and fill in all the regular collection and then meet you back at the start of the classic collection. So let's get it. Guys, so we're done with the classic collection, or uh, the modern, or the normal set. Um, you can see there the first page. I love how it's a 12-page uh, card holder. And then the second page, going all the way up to that full art professor's research. But... That is just sick looking in my opinion. We're still missing that Mew, obviously, but let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the classic collection for you guys too real quick. And yeah, see what we're see what we're looking like. Alright guys, so there we have it. So everything should be filled in that I do own or do have. So as you can see here starting in the classic collection. We missed we don't have the Mew. Starting here, it should be the Mew. Blastoise, Charizard, we're still missing. Um, go through here. We got the Shining Magic Carp. I actually have quite a few of these. And then uh, I believe we're missing Team Magma's uh, Groudon, which is kind of surprising to me. I've seen a lot of people pull a lot of those. And the amount of packs that I've opened for this set, I can't believe I don't have one. Uh, next page here, we got the Umbreon Gold Star up there, that awesome UEX. Uh, we're missing the Reshiram Full Art. We got that Mewtwo. And then the last page here. Sorry about that one. Last page here, we got that Rayquaza on the top. Rayquaza Mega, or Mega Rayquaza EX Full Art. And we're missing, uh, what's that last card there? The Tapu Lele GX. And then that should be it. So we're not missing too many cards. And also I decided to throw some promos on this page. I thought that looked pretty cool to kind of finish the set. But we still have a bunch of pages in this binder. So I'm either going to make another complete set of celebrations or uh, maybe start throwing some brilliant stars in here. Maybe the trainer gallery or something I can throw in here too. I think that'd be pretty cool. Let me know down in the comments which you think I should do to add to this binder. I think I should build a whole other set of celebrations or uh, trainer gallery trainer gallery from uh, brilliant stars. But yeah, awesome products from vault -X. Make sure to check down in the description below for the information on how to get your own. Um, I think everyone needs a new binder these days, especially with the new sets coming out. And then it, uh, yeah, if you guys hear about the new uh, Generation 9 that got announced on the Pokemon channel, I thought that was pretty crazy with the three new starters. I think they look really cool. Um, yeah, that's a good way to start off Pokemon Day. That's I was not expecting a new gen to be uh, announced. And then they said that towards the end of 2022 we'll start seeing some stuff so hopefully that'll be in a, a card set there towards the end of the year that'd be insane so all right guys well happy pokemon day thanks for tuning in and uh yeah stay tuned for the next video